Do you think depression is real? I love these questions. Uh, I don't know if depression is real. I, I know that there is, that there are clinical, that there is a clinical depression, but I think that most people describe their state of unhappiness and their state of un, of spiritual or mental unrest as depression when it could be so many other things. Yeah. But people aren't willing to do the research. They automatically just blanket it as this is who I am. This is what I have. And therefore that's what you have, right? Yeah. So I think people need to be a little bit more introspective and potentially analyze that how they feel is not defined in one word and potentially it's in a, a yeah. spectrum of of feelings. How do you achieve happiness? Uh, well, happiness from a metaphysical perspective, in my opinion, is achieving a state of balance in your yeah. life. So once you achieve a state of balance is when every area of your life is in tune and in harmony. Yeah. You know, potentially the best time in your life wasn't when you were growing the most, wasn't potentially when everything in business was great. It was probably when everything was doing well and everything was in tune and your family was taken care of and your relationship with these people were good. And yeah, you were making money and yeah, your channels were growing, but everything was in accordance. You don't want to be the guy where this area of your life is crushing and then everything else is falling apart. That's not happiness. That's not living yeah. life great. So I think achieving a life that where you can achieve a consistent state of happiness from a metaphysical perspective is achieving a life of balance. From a physical perspective is knowing that there's things that you can do on a regular basis in your life to increase your chances of happiness. You can eat better foods, therefore increasing the levels of serotonin in your gut, serotonin known as the happy chemical. It dictates the, the chemical balance in your brain. A lot of people have unhealthy eating habits or unhealthy sleeping patterns. That affects your ability to be happy. But if you can have a healthy gut because of the foods that you ingest, now you have what? A healthier mind. So people need to start not only training the metaphysical, but also the physical. If you exercise, you're gonna reduce your stress. If you eat healthy, you're gonna incre increase your ability to produce high quality serotonin. That's gonna make you a more balanced individual on the biochemical level. Go sit 15 minutes in the sun, get some vitamin B, yeah. right? Be in a situation where you can control your melatonin levels and now control your sleep cycles. So how do you acquire happiness? By establishing the small little habits in your life and the small little patterns in your life that are gonna allow you to live a better life. And when you live a better life, you live a happier life.